All right, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, we had a little problem that Facebook sometimes does weird things with videos and it said that it blocked it and it was not allowing anybody to view our video. And then it just says here, they released the claim on the video. Super annoying. I know there were some people that were watching. Hopefully they'll come back on and rejoin us. Um, so just give me a few moments here to share our new video here via my phone and that way more people who are watching the other link can see we started a new one and, and to come on here. Um, anyways, all that being said, we are here with the kids today. Um, and, uh, here we go. All right. It's posted. All right. So we're actually live now and Facebook didn't block this video and hopefully they won't. Um, so we've got all of, uh, not all the kids in the family because the two babies are sleeping. Normally I'm up a little bit closer. I'm able to see, you know, the comments and things I'm going to be backing up and sitting on the floor. So I want to share who I want each of you to tell us your name and how old you are. And just so everybody out there knows, this is my daughter right here. I have two daughters. The other one's in bed and she's a little over one. This, but this is, I'm Ellie and I'm five. Okay. Since I just introduced you now, go ahead and you go next. I am Addie and I am four. And next. I am Micah and I'm six. Okay, so we have a wide variety all the way from four is the youngest all the way up to eight. And actually, I didn't realize this. We didn't plan this, but it's actually in order of youngest to oldest. So I didn't, we didn't plan to do that, but it just so worked out. And Matt is on here today. He has a family. He says, hi, Josh and family. He has um, a little boy that, that go, loves going to Disney too. What? Uh, one, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... She's eight. Oh, four, five, six, eight. Yeah. So that it's too bad you're not seven. Then it would be four, five, six, seven. That would be that might be better. So we're on here tonight um, to talk about our recent trip to Disney. And there's a lot of things that we can talk about because um, really there's there's the rides. That's a big thing. There's the food, and you might have some interesting things to talk about because he has some allergies. So it'll be interesting to hear some different foods that you had, maybe. And then there's also the hotel we stayed at and the stuffies and things. You know, I know you guys have some stuffies, some stuffed animals um, that you guys have that you're going to share. Uh, but, of course, merchandising, those types of things. So I guess the first thing I want to go down the line and say, this is a very big question. We'll start with Abby, the, the youngest one, and then we'll go all the way across. Of the whole entire trip, what was your favorite thing? Not necessarily, doesn't have to be ride. It could be, it could be a ride. It could be food. It could be something funny that happened. But what was your favorite thing during the whole trip on this last trip? Um, or one of your favorite things, if you can't remember your favorite. Getting oh, getting figment. Yeah. Why don't you here? Why don't you bring them up here to show everybody on the screen? Here's the camera way up here, so you hold, can hold them up right into the camera, and everybody can see. And what's the special thing about Figment? Like, what can you do with them? I can hook him up on my shoulder. Here, I'll lift you up a little bit. Yeah, you can hook him up on your shoulder, but you don't have that part right now, do you? Yeah. Oh, you do? You have the shoulder part? No, I have Oh, yeah, the magnets on the bottom of him. And then you can actually put a magnet under here, and he sits right on your shoulder, like you could walk all around. It, it, Mr. Uh, Matt is married to Crystal, and she says, Yay, Figment! She's so excited. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and sit down. Now, Ellie, what was one of your favorite things from the trip? Um, one of your favorite Slinky memories? Dog. Slinky Dog. was was your favorite memory right now, or one of your favorites at least. I think, and then, and then getting the um, um, Mickey bars too, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mickey bars, because usually you don't eat a lot of sugar, but we did eat that on the trip, and that's a lot of sugar and very tasty. Okay, Micah. Riding Slinky and Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, yeah, I should have known that because you told me that earlier tonight. I forgot already. I Big had, Thunder Mountain and Slinky. I Slinky's. told you that some, they won on that. You said they didn't. It wasn't open. About Big Thunder? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? It was closed at first, and then it opened, and they went on. Did you guys go on really late at night, Big Thunder Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it didn't open until really late. I Oh my gosh. 
Were you, was anybody scared of Big Thunder Mountain? Like, were you yeah. scared at first before you went on? Were you like, well, I don't know. I was a little bit scared. And then once you went on, it wasn't too scary or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. it was actually okay. fun. Okay. But not okay. at the bad part. The, the bad part wasn't too fun? Right. Here, lean over towards Ellie, then people can see you. But what was the bad part? You, the oh, bats. or the back. Oh, the bats. Yeah, there's a part where the bats, you're like, ah. it's very loud, actually, in that section. It it's really is. weird. It yeah. is really loud. And, and I, and there yeah, was, like it that. was really weird because there was nobody when we went um, around the train. Yeah. Like, there was nobody there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you mean in the front of the train, driving the train? Yeah, there was nobody driving the train. Right. And there was nobody in the little town. Oh, yeah. Well, do you know why? Why? Um, because they're all ghosts. Yes, the story of Big Thunder Mountain, she remembers, is that it's a ghost. It's not just the Haunted Mansion that have ghosts in the Magic Kingdom. It's also uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It's a ghost train, and it's a town that's a ghost town. And um, there's actually, I have a comic book up here. We're not going to get it done right now, but there's a whole story in the comic book about Big Thunder Mountain Railroad that uh, talks a little bit more about the story. So, well, before we move on to Avery's, one of Avery's favorites, we have a comment from Miss Rachel. And you remember Miss Rachel from Epcot. She spent the night uh, walking around with us, remember? So she says, Ellie knows what's up. Everything tastes better Mickey shape because you said you love the Mickey bar. So everything tastes so much better Mickey shape, which that's true because all everybody's tried ice cream at some point and but it tastes so much better when it's the mickey bar doesn't it yeah, yeah. Okay. now you didn't get to try mickey bar because you have the allergies but you got some special treats chocolate. which we'll talk about those chocolate. yeah yeah the chocolate and the milk that's in that he's not able to have that but there are special things he was able to have which we'll talk about in a minute but avery why don't you sh tell us your one of your favorite things um my favorite thing was almost all the rides except for tower of tears and um, one of my favorite ride was Sneaky Dog. Mine was actually Seven Dwarfs, and then Thunder Mountain, and then Mickey Mouse Railway, and okay. then the Haunted Mansion. Whoa! So how many is that? All your favorites? That's like four different ones, huh? Probably. Okay. Well, you're. Now, everybody, all the kids, you're all, you all like Disney. You all like the, I liked it. But it seems like Avery might be the biggest fan right now. She's like, knows some of the backstory. She like talks about it all the time. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Avery's the biggest fan of Disney World right now? Everybody thinks they're the no, biggest fan? You are. You are. You are. I, okay, I mean, but of the kids, of the kids. Me? I you're the biggest? No, you are. No, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. Wait, hold on. Mick is trying to say something. You like a lot of the rides. Yeah, I like almost every single one except for the Well, yeah. now that you mentioned it a few times, let's go through and let's talk about the Tower of Terror because this is a very um, controversial ride. Now, Addie, you aren't able to go. You aren't tall enough for Tower of Terror yet, so you didn't go on. I remember Did you want to go on it? No. You didn't, so you were too scared, so you said, I'm glad I can't go on that. So now you three did go on it. Now, let's start with Micah. What was your thoughts of Tower of Terror over in Hollywood Studios? Uh, did you like it? Did you, did you wish you didn't go on it? I wish I didn't go you on it. You wish you didn't go on it. Now, were you crying on the ride? No. No, you were just like, oh, like this. Like, all like scared, like, ah. Yeah. Okay. So, now, Ellie, what did you think of the ride? I liked it. How many times did you go on Tower of Terror, you think? Ten. Two times? Actually, I it was a lot more than that. It was like I six was times pro, you went on. Like you went on two times that day, but then you went on another day and another day. So she went on many times, probably like six times. Um, Rachel, Miss Rachel says that you went on enough for everyone because you went on so many times. Everybody else went once, but you went on so many times. That's enough for everybody. And uh, Mr. Jeff says he's the only one in his family that will ride the Tower of Terror. That's Mr. Jeff that we saw at... Um, Chick-fil-A and at the Canfield Fair. And so he says his whole family, they, now they all say, I'm not riding it except for him. He's the only one. And Matt says, yes, the Tower of Terror. Lincoln went on, who is his little boy. He says it was fun, but a little scary. I'm so glad the kids are all so brave. But Avery is pretty brave about some things, but we better hear about Avery's, what she thinks about Tower of Terror. She went on the ride. So tell us about when you 
first before you got on the ride, what you were thinking, then when you went on the ride? Um, when I was still at home and like on the plane and things, before I went on Tower of Terror, I was actually excited to go on it. Okay. Um, me too. But then when I went on it, I really didn't want to do it again. Whew. What were you thinking? What was the scary part? What didn't you like about it? The drop. Okay. Now, you, were you scared of the part like where you look out, you see the ghost standing there and all that? Or were, were you already closing your eyes or not? I closed my eyes in that. On the whole ride? Like once they started going up, you started closing your eyes? Yes. Oh. I, so you I didn't like see the whole ride, but I did see like the big open space just for one second. Oh, which open space? Oh, like down the hallway? Where you look around and you see like a whole room, no. like with an eye looking at you and stuff. No. Oh, you missed that part? Yeah, there's a big eye that looks at you when you go down the hallway. No. Oh, she shut her eyes on that. That was too scary. Okay. Uh, Micah, you see that part, the big eye? Yeah. Okay. He was looking around. He was scared. He was looking around. Yeah. I mostly put my eye on my eyes on all all of them, but when like the Doors open wide, like like um, like before it was going to drop. Yeah. I saw that the part, but I really didn't like it. Oh. I was too well, scared. don't feel bad because Rachel, who's older, she's like uh, I think she's a little younger than I am, but she's around my age. She said she does the same thing. She closes her eyes on the whole thing. She does go on it, but she closes her eyes on it, so she doesn't like it either. I guess. But now, when you're older, are you going to try to go on again, like, when you're, like, as old as your mom or something? Maybe. Okay. Like, 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 when you're one years old? Because sometimes you can change your mind on things. Yeah. Now, here's something interesting. You got you guys know that there's other parks other than Florida, right? There's one in California, Disney in California, all the way to another state. Yeah. And they have a version of Tower of Terror, and Matt was talking about it. It's, like, it's a superhero version. They used to be Tower of Terror, but now it's superheroes, Guardians of the Galaxy, and they have different songs that play, and it's, it's supposed to, it's not as scary. It's supposed to feel like you're floating when it goes up and down, so it's kind of weird. I don't know how they do it, but it's it's not scary and, as scary anymore for people, I guess. So that would be interesting to try. I haven't been on that one. Um, it was the Twilight Zone. Jeff, uh, who's in the comments, he was talking about um, how he watched one, that was an old show, The Twilight Zone, was an old show that had like creepy things in it, and that is called The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and what did you guys think of the first part when you were in the library and it was like all dark and then there was a thunderstorm and there was a little TV and stuff? I, I, oh yeah, I did like that part. Oh. I got, that actually, I was, I was a little bit scared when I went inside Tower of Terror, but then when the movie happened, that's when I started to get a little bit more scared. Oh, okay. And he was crying. Oof. Yeah, that was just so freaky. But what did you think about it? You were about 16 I loved too. it, and I think, I think, um, um, when it was the movie part, I was still a little scared. Oh, yeah. Time, but, but when it was, is, or well, maybe just bored. Yeah. And then when it's the ride part, then I'm like, yay, it's the ride. <laughs> so now Addie didn't go on that, so she wasn't able to talk about anything from that. So Addie, why don't you tell us what your one of your favorite rides was? Um, the Figment ride. Oh, Figment ride, because that's why you got that. Yeah. Now, when we were there... I don't know if you noticed this because it was probably the first time you ever rode it in your life, but something was kind of broken on the figment ride. Yeah, I know. It was very the smell, weird. The smell. Uh, the smell, well, the smell always smells bad in there, like a skunk, but there was, like, his voice was moving at the wrong time. Um, Ellie and Miss Rachel and I all went on that ride together, and we were thinking, what in the world? This something's weird. But I even did. though it was broken, you still really liked it. What did? You, what made you like it so much? I feel like that. Yeah. It's so fun. Well, I bet I know. It seems like it was about figment, that the fact that there was the purple dragon, that's what made it so fun. Because if it was just some, like if it was, a, I don't know, if it was a, just a lion or something guy, you'd be like, that was kind of, I didn't like that as much. But since it's a nice magical dragon, you probably like that. Mm -hmm. You this, love dragons. This is how, this is how I got this back because I was helping Mo, um take care of babies. Oh, yeah, on the rides. 
she wasn't able to go on, she helped take care of the babies. And then that was on the Star Wars ride. You were too little to go yeah, on. Yeah, so I helped Ma take care of the babies. Yeah, and so since you did that, she said, oh, I'll get you this special gift since you did that. Yeah. That was perfect. And I was saying, I want to get one of the figments that are sad. Oh, a sad figment. Oh, I haven't seen that. You said a sad? Oh, they're sad figments now. I don't know about that. I didn't know they had those. I said I said so, his face looked like a sad figment. Oh, that one looked sad? So you're like, I'm going to take him home. He's sad because they, what are you, where are you going? Oh, throw that away. Go ahead. He's sad because he wants to go back to the old version of the ride for those who are on it. Um, Jeff, uh, Mr. Jeff says he has an old figment puppet that's older than any of you kids combined. It's a very old figment puppet. He lives around here, Addy. You should tell him to come over to our street and show us it. Tonight, like, hey, come by to the sleepover. We're having a sleepover. Peek in the window and have a figment puppet. Like, hello. No, I don't think he'll really do that. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Yeah. Now, um, Mr. Matt is singing the song. One little spark of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. Remember that? Yeah. Did you guys sing that song? I know. Okay, and another word for imagination is inspiration. Well, um, a little bit. Yeah, it's slightly different, but about the same. Okay, everybody tell me, um, what was your favorite food you had at Disney? One of your favorites. Like, one of your favorites. Like, yeah. yeah, well, now this time, let's start over here, if you have one, because we had her last, last time. So let's start with um, Avery this time. Mm -hmm. It could be a treat, it could be a meal, it could be anything. As long as it was something you eat or drink, even. Oh, that would be I, Can I say or drink. two what? or three? Yeah, go ahead, Avery. The three is, um, I got this food with Papa and, and Mommy. They're like these, they look like big, huge quesadillas. But okay. actually, it's like they're just roll-ups from, I think they're from, um, Italy or France. Oh, yeah. And, like, I really like those. Okay. And they were so yummy. Okay. I got I got the turkey and cheese one. And then the next one is the Mickey bar. And then the next one is Mickey ice cream sandwiches. Okay. So some treats, some things that were actually like more like dinner almost, snack mm -hmm. things. Um, do you have any ideas yet? Or you come yeah. back? Okay, go ahead. Now I again you have Oh, yeah. Now, how big was your hot dog? I was going to ask you about this. How big was the hot dog? Uh, a foot long. A foot long. And it, was, it seemed even longer. It was like a foot long bun, and then it was sticking out on the edges. Did you eat the entire thing of that? No. I was going to say, how much did you get to eat? Like, this big, how much did you eat? Half or just a little tiny bit? Or? Like half. Yeah, about half. Okay. Wow. One nice thing is, and all of you have probably heard of this, some of you may have experienced it, that at Disney, if people have allergies or certain foods they can't eat, Disney's very good because they give you special foods that you can have. Like Micah can't have certain kinds of bread, but they gave you a special bread, didn't they? That day with your hot dog, special bread you could have. I think um, that maybe, um, maybe Mr. Jeff, I'm not sure Jeff, uh, if um, you guys sometimes have some food restrictions or not, uh, but, but I think some people watching definitely do. Um, somebody, Miss Rachel just asked, did anybody try the corn dog nuggets? They're little tiny corn dogs like that big. And they have hot dog inside with corn dogs on the outside. I've tried it at school before. Okay, at school. I did last, I did one night by myself. Um, did I? I? No, you didn't try it. Maybe you can some other time. But the, you know what's really weird about corn dogs is my wife, Carissa, has never had a corn dog in her whole life. For some reason, her, her parents always told her that they were like, corn dogs are the worst, junkiest food you could ever have. And so she never tried one. And then I tried to get her to try one just to say she would try it. And she still to this day, I don't think, has tried a corn dog. So she'll probably say, oh, you don't eat that. That's junky. You don't eat that. It's corn dog. It's just a hot dog wrapped in cornbread. Sounds kind of weird, but it does taste good, though. Uh, especially the corn dog nuggets. They're like just this small, but they taste pretty good. It's, but, it's, it's probably junky because of the cornbread. Yeah, well, if they had an out, well, hot dogs are pretty junky too, usually. But if they had an uh, an allergy free corn dog nugget, you could eat that because you love the hot dog. So I a foot long nugget that would be a little bit too long, like oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, like falling oh, yeah. over or something. Oh, yeah. 
A figment, but you had a figment bucket with popcorn no. in it. Oh, did you see the pictures though of the of the figment popcorn yeah, bucket? It's so cute. I know, and you know what kind of popcorn is inside? Rainbow colored popcorn inside. Oh, yeah. the inside the figment um, popcorn bucket. Isn't that crazy? But people waited for like six hours for that. You'd have to wait there and spend your whole day waiting in line just to get the bucket, and then you'd miss all the rides. So, would you rather wait all day in the line for the bucket or just go on the rides? Why do you have to do that? Because everybody wanted the bucket so much, they just all got in line for that instead. And just was the longest line ever. What was your favorite food that you had? One of your favorites? Everything donut? That We had a donut that had onions on it. Ellie and I tried it, and she actually oh, liked it. I think it was. And, and it was a trick. It was kind of a trick. Because why do you say that? Yeah, so you thought it was going to be like, uh, like, like din taste like dinner because it had onions on it, but it was actually sweet. It was a very, yeah, it's at, by the way, if you ever want to try the everything, it has like everything seasoning and onions on top of it, meaning like those green onions. Um, and it sounds kind of gross, right? But it's actually Everglades uh, there at Disney Springs. Um, down on the end of, Everglades is like tucked away. It's hard to find, but if you go around the um, movie theater, it's back in there. There's, there's probably icing that looks like it. Yeah, well, no, it really had real, real onions on it, but it did have icing too. So it was weird because it was a little salty, a little bit sweet. You know, it was good though. I thought it was only sweet. Oh, and you should tell everybody the one. What was the special drink you drank like every single night you got and you brought oh, it back? I always drank lemonade. Yeah, she every had a day. lemonade every night. She brought back to her hotel. Cool. Now, what did you like? I love the Mickey bars. Mickey bars. That's very popular. I like Mickey bars too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, Mr. Jeff said right here, even before you said that, he said, Mickey bars are the must-do snack for me. And Matt said, popcorn buckets are one of our collections. They always collect all these popcorn buckets when they go. Now, I don't think they have figment yet. I don't know, Matt and um, Chris will have to let us know if they have the popcorn, bucket, the figment one. Well, we just did, so they can tell us in the comments here in a minute. Now, Matt wants to try Everblaze like we did, the donuts. And he says, what's your favorite donut? Miss Rachel loves the Fruity Pebbles one. It has Fruity Pebbles cereal on top. Papa tried a peanut butter um, cup, Reese's peanut butter cup donut. It had so much Reese's on it. So that sounds good. I've only, I've only had the everything donut because it's so unique. And then I tried, um, I've had a lot of coffees from there. Um, okay. So let's see, kids. Let's ta let's ask about since you all have them here. Now Ellie doesn't have anything with her, but I'll start with Ellie since she doesn't have anything with her. You can tell us what was one of the um, uh, things that you got. It doesn't have to be a stuffed animal, but what was one of the special um, toys or things that you got when you were there? If you need a reminder, I can help you to remind you. Yeah. Okay. It was on, well, after you went on Tower of Terror. You got a shirt, but you also got something else that oh, you were yeah. excited about. I got a key. Yeah. I did two. A key to the Tower of Terror. They have those at the end. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, before everyone else shows your stuffies, I'll tell you, Mr. Matt responded. He said, they don't have the figment bucket. Um, they tried to fly. His wife, Crystal, tried to fly down there to just to get one. He said, She said, we have to go down. But then he said, we can't go just for that bucket. So then they didn't go. Because that was the only reason. But Miss Rachel says when you come down to move there, she said that you and her have to go get the Fruity Pebbles donut to try down at Glebber Place. Do you want to go there and try it with her? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jeff's going to leave. I'll see you later. He's going to leave. Bye, Jeff. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Jeff. Bye. WWPOV with Bye, the Jeff. Oh, you're it's over here, actually. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Not Uncle Jeff, another Jeff. Okay, go ahead and sit down. I wonder if you saw that. I'll have to tell him to come back on. Okay, Ellie, go sit down so everybody can see. No. It. No, seriously. No. Ellie, Ellie, come sit down now. You're, you're crazy funny, but we want, we want the kids to be able to come up. Addie, why don't you come up and show everybody and tell them what you have, okay? What stuffed animals did you get there? Oh, Mr. Jeff, sorry, said, bye, kids. Come on up. You come up and show so everybody can see. Here. I have my Wii. 
Marie from Aristocats. Have you seen that movie? Okay. Yeah, that's an older one that some kids today haven't seen. You got Figment, of course. We know about him. I have Minnie. Oh, Minnie. Hunchback Minnie. That's what I think these, these, these seem like they're all hunched over or something. They're like kind of leaning. So I'm holding it up front and it's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it has like a little hunchback or something. And she's just like an old elderly Minnie. Whoops. <laughs> And it even has magnets in it. It even has magnets, so you can actually put it on on something then. Yeah. Wow. So saying you could put it on your shoulder, I guess, since it's a magnet. Yep. You could, but it might be too heavy. It might fall off. Oh, okay. Here you go. So you take your care. Now you got all those at Disney this time? Yeah. Wow. Michael, what did you have? What is that, though? Pluto. Baby? Baby Pluto? You got the Baby Pluto. I forget what this, like, brand is. Um, these are called, like, Mijis or something. I don't know. Oh, Olivia Zari's here. And she says, that, at least that's holding in the camera. So, okay, there's some questions from some of their kids. Owen wants to know, what was the scariest ride Micah went on? What was the scariest <laughs> ride you went on? The Tower of Terror. Oh, okay, well, let me ask you this, though. What was scarier, Tower of Terror or Dinosaur? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Did you think the dinosaur was scary? He's the only one of the kids that went on it. I am scared by dinosaur a little bit. I always go on it, but I think it's just so dark. For those of you who didn't go on it, it's very dark, and you just hear some roaring, and then a big dinosaur comes out and roars right in your face. It's the scariest thing, because even though not, it's not real, it's, it's so scary. scary. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Uh, well, I peed my pants at the end of the ride, so <laughs> I had to run back to the hotel and change. So... Now, Willow wants to know, though, what was Avery's favorite ride? Uh, my favorite, favorite ride, I think it's still the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, that was your last trip you went on when you were, like, little. You That was your favorite. Now I that's literally went favorite. on it seven times. Seven times. Wow, 70 Best times time. seven. It's like Jesus himself, 70 times seven. Okay, so, okay. So before, well, we're, there's still going to be some more questions coming in. Oh, yeah, Numo. Those are those little guys, Numos. And now you have a Numo, too, but you can show everybody. You have a specialties. You have some specialties. Let's see what these are here. Because first you have, who you have first to show us? Oh, um, let's see. This guy. Okay, so what I really like about this, show them the back. Turn that around. They can see the back up there. And this is the camera here. So you see the backpack is actually, it's a lounge fly, which many of you have seen or have. I know some of you have them, but it's actually like a miniature lounge fly. It's really cool. Um, so what do you have like a little, oh yeah, there's, it's, there's actually space inside. in there. Okay, you could put something in there if but you wanted to. Really good. And there's what? real small mittens. Oh, Miss Rachel says she has this bag, the big version of this bag. So she actually carries it. Like, does it have a little zipper on the front too? Okay, no, it just has this. Okay. It just has this. And then he's actually dressed for the 50th anniversary. And he's kind of like a hunchback too. See how his head's like leaning forward? Just looks like an old, like an old grandma that's like. No. <laughs> and also, look at this. Oh, and he's, what in the world? He's wearing his conductor Mickey shirt underneath. Conductor. Okay. Yeah, he's got his conductor yeah. Mickey shirt on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the Mickey, and then who else do you have there? Baby Cookie? No! Oh, yes. I forgot the name of that. Baby Cookie. Who is that then? Baby Beluga. Oh, Baby Beluga. 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 Baby Wow, so he goes in the bag and then you could carry him around uh, yeah. for Did baby you time. Know what I said? Baby no, time. not yet. Well, this is interesting because Mr. Matt says that his wife, Crystal, has a lot of the real size version. So he said she he's going to tell her she can only buy the ba these mini size versions now because they don't have room in their house for any bigger ones anymore. So she's only allowed to get these mini backpacks now. Yay! Yay! Okay. Poopy butt, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, potty talk on the show. I told you about that. Okay. Yeah. That's, of course, going to probably come up one or twice in a show with younger kids. Okay. So we have a little bit more time today to talk about. Okay. Hey, hey, calm down. Before she came on here, she ate a big um, pudding cup. So she's all sugared up. 
All right. Okay, kids. So let me think of something else that I want to ask you about. And by the way, if anybody else has any questions about their trip to Disney, put them in the comments and we'll, we'll look at them. Those were very good questions so far. Yeah, Slinky Dog. She really wants to talk about was her no, favorite ride. Well, wait, let Addie first because it was her favorite. So go ahead. I Addie, well, wait, move over towards us so people can see you. I would not in the back of Slinky Dog. I would probably like it. If you went in the back of Slinky Dog, you'd no, like it? Wasn't. Oh, if you went in the front row and it was like wind right in your face? Like, if I wasn't in the back, I would, I would probably like it. Okay, so you were in the back and you did not like it. What was bad about the back, though? Because it goes very fast. Oh, it does. Uh, roller coasters do tend to go faster in the back. And if you never knew that before, it's because if you're going up a hill, a lot of times the front of the of it is already down before the, the end gets up the top, right? So when the end actually gets the full speed down the hill, whereas, you know, if you're in the front, it's it's already kind of halfway down the hill in a lot of those those rides. But anyways, in a lot of roller coasters, at least. So you do like it. I, I, was, I was actually in the back with Papa, but I still really liked it. Okay. So. Wow. And I, you liked it. Yeah. I did it back to you. Ellie, what did you think? Slinky Dog. You did it two times, right? I, I, I did it once. Two I went to do my two favorite rides ten times. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, okay. Here are some questions that we have. Miss Rachel wants to know, what was your favorite part about the resort? That means the hotel. What was your favorite thing about the hotel? Oh. And we, by the way, we stayed at, so we should say what we stayed at. We stayed at um, the, the Art animation, animation, Art of Animation. Well, and I'll tell my we favorite were, part first. We were well, you guys in the aerial thinking. rooms. Yeah, we were in the aerial rooms. Thank you for mentioning all this. This is a good, important information. We were in the aerial rooms by Ursula. And um, there's big characters, so we were by Ursula. And um, what my favorite thing about it was that we were able to go on the Skyliner every day because that was just so nice. I mean, for a couple of the parks, you just get on this thing in the air and it just takes you straight there. You don't have to worry, wait for a bus. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just get on and go straight over. What did you guys like about the hotel the most? I really liked that... Um... The beds, and I like the the doors that okay. like go straight across to another person's room. Oh yeah, the connecting doors. Okay, yeah. That's and cool. I also liked the big curtain to the bathroom. Oh. And I really liked the shower, the shower thing, the shower mm -hmm. part. Yep. It was like you. It looked like you were under the sea. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Ariel's Grotto was that whole the whole bathroom shower. Area. Yeah, on the front, you could see Ariel. You could see Ariel on the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about anybody else have anything favorite from the hotel? I do. What, Micah? The pool. The pool was your favorite oh. thing. Oh yeah, and and um, when we were there, we couldn't go in the Ariel pool. That was closed. They were fixing it. So, which one did you guys go in? The we, car. We went in the cars. Okay. They said it was a lot more hotter, but it was a lot more colder. So. <laughs> it was a very freezing cold day when you guys went in the pool. And but the Nemo pool was a lot more hotter the same day. Mm -hmm. When 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 we felt the Nemo pool, and then we and then we actually. Um, swim in the in the cars one because they said that the cars one was um was a lot more warmer. Yeah, they said, oh, cars is the warmest pool we have here. It's very heated, and it was very freezing. And when, when Ellie and I and Eliza and everybody, we went all in the um the the um Nemo. Finding Nemo one. Oh, it's sunny right now. I can't look at you kids anymore. Um, <laughs> then. Um, it was a warmer day, so it wasn't that bad. But, okay, so let, um, did you guys explore any of the other areas besides, um, of course you went to the Cars Pool, but did you explore the other areas other than just um, looking around line? Um, I'm sorry, looking around Ariel, did you check out the other areas? And also there was, there was a couple of playgrounds. Yep. The, the line 
the Lion King playground. Yeah. And the Nemo playground. Yeah. Do you know, did you see the Nemo? Yeah, Ellie went on that a little bit, didn't you, Ellie? And there was like squirt yeah. on it, and you could go through these little tunnels and these slides. Yeah. And yeah. I really like the the Lion King one because yep. um like it was so cool because like there were all there was a lot more statues well, in the other places. Like they were all all the statues were, were gathered together. Yeah. So you could run around and just see all the statues. And the playground was right by Pride Rock. Yes. And I, I it was so fun. Like you went to the um tunnel graveyard. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Anyway, Elephant okay. Graveyard was one of the funnest things Ellie liked. She every night when we came back, she wanted to run through there just one time, yeah. even if she was so tired. Yeah. Didn't really oh, like, yeah. and, and it was so cool when you went in there at night because there were like right. little little lights on you. Yeah, yeah, there were red lights. Yeah, little green lights. Red lights, not green. Oh yeah, red. they were. Because <laughs> they were making that sound. Wow. So let's um so okay let's answer a couple other questions before the show is over. Somebody so Owen wants to know if anybody went on the any of the Star Wars rides. Ooh, I, I love the Star you Wars did, ride. You went on the fly the uh, flying the ship. I love the Star Wars. Oh, and you went on the three D one. Three D one. I Everybody love on the Star Wars. I went on. I, I went on. The, so you guys what, all liked it. You liked. It. You love the shooting one. I went on I did the, not love the shooting one. I was freaked out. You were freaked out. I, 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 I did the I did the um three D one and the other one. Which, oh, you went on the one with the, the where you do the shooting and you do the um you're flying the ship. So you did and you also the Millennium the Falcon. You did the one on the Millennium Falcon. I, ship. I love didn't the, you? The, or maybe you didn't. Maybe I you didn't. Did, I did both. Oh, you did. You wrote it with me and I, mom. I, I yes. did both. Where you fly the ship, yeah. Where you look out the little window and you have the buttons you have to push. No, I, I went with you actually. Oh, okay, okay. And I, I went you. I went with you because remember you yeah, were saying my run. mommy. And okay, yeah. My mommy. And I thought I Ellie went on that once. Maybe I went on both of them. That space one. Yeah, the one in space. Yeah, you're flying the ship through space. I with all the other people sitting in the same room as and you and also, with the buttons. And, and it was so cool because you have to shoot the bad guys. Yes. And I was the shooter and it, and like and like people were telling me when shooting, I was like <laughs> and you have to touch all these buttons, they're actually real buttons. Yes, they were really, and were, the ones they really that did were things. blinking you had to touch. Yeah. So it was fun. Well, <laughs> let me ask, let me tell you this. Uh, let me ask you this question. Uh, there, are, I'll remind you of all the four parks. There's Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. What was your favorite of the parks, Addy? You start. What was your favorite? Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, or Epcot? Um, probably Epcot because I got figment. Oh my gosh! Everything was about figment. You loved it so much. <laughs> Pigments, your number one favorite. <laughs> one little spark of inspiration. Okay, Ellie, tell us what was your favorite part. I'm not sure why. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom? You're not sure? Okay. I know. Micah, what? Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Whoa, okay. What did you like about it? The animals. Was... The... <laughs> the dinosaurs? Whoa. And the dinosaur ride. That's too scary for me. <laughs> what about you, Avery? Um, I actually really like all of them, but I think my favorite favorite is Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's probably my favorite because it's just the most classic. Has the all of the classic rides, pirates, and haunted mansion, and everything. And can I also show my Magic Kingdom? Yeah, do you have it? I, I have it um, on my Mickey doll. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, just go grab it. Okay, well, she, we're gonna, she's going to show that um, here in just a moment. But the show's almost over. Uh, we, just, we, we have one more question that we'll answer here, and it's from Willow. 
And Willow wants to know what your favorite thing was to do in Hollywood studios. That was the one with the Star Wars land. There's Mickey's Runaway Railway. There's um, the Nick Disney Ready. Junior uh, dance party. Ready, Will. Ready, so that was your favorite, Ready. Mickey's. Okay, now, um, what was your favorite thing? Stop doing that. Um, Mickey's Runaway. The Runaway Railway. What was your favorite at Hollywood Studios? Could be. The Mickey's Runaway Railway <laughs> in a storm. <laughs> Okay, and what was your favorite Hollywood Studios? Mm. I really like Mickey Rooney's really, really. <laughs> and, um, the Star Wars ride. And also, I like... Hmm. Uh, uh, was it no, that's a Magic Kingdom, yeah. So, here's something that actually... Uh, Allie, be careful. Here's something you all you guys could tell us right before we started the show, since you all like Mickey's Runaway Railway. Um, right before we started the show, you all put on the Oculus Quest VR. They all did, and they looked in, and it looked like they were really on the ride. Now, Micah, he has to try it again after this, because he accidentally clicked on the wrong video, and it just was a big TV screen, and he thought that's what it was supposed to be. So he didn't get to really have the immersive experience. But will you guys, what did you think of that? I love it. <laughs> what did you think, Avery? Like, um, when I was in there, I was, like, a little bit scared because I was like, will something pop up into my face? <laughs> a big person, like, hello, or something. No! <laughs> Do 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 hello. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was also, I was also excited, and I really, really, really liked it. No. Because um, Pluto was really cute. Sorry. He and all of them were really saying that. But I didn't like the tornado part. Um, okay. I, I really, 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 my favorite part was um, when, when, like, when we were in the walk, when we were, like, um, the waterfall thing. No, like... Oh, underwater? Were, like, in the beach or something like that. Okay, okay. So, the ride itself is really good. Everybody liked it, and we liked the uh, VR one, too. Of course, it's probably better just to go on the real ride. That's the most fun. But when you can't go to Disney, then you can go on that, and that seems really real. Like a fight, love. Like, like a cheap show, show, farm food, and they took pictures. Micah and Daddy and I think Jackie took no, that was a too. By the stormtroopers? Oh, yeah, were you? Did you go up and meet them? I did not. Work. You did not. I, I meet them, but I took a picture of them. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. And well, you got something to say, Al? Mm -hmm. What? Um. You forgot. Oh um, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead. I VR and the, mm -hmm. it, the VR, yes. it kind of looks like, it kind of is like you um go on the ride and then you take something off of your eyes and then you're just back at home. Yeah, it feels like you're somewhere else and then you all of a sudden you're like, wait, I'm just here all along, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, if you none of you have ever tried VR, you'll have to. Is there any last things that anybody wants to say before we go? show this. Oh yes, go ahead and bring it up and show everybody. This is my magic band. And first I want to show you this because um it'll be going everywhere. Be this is this is um a Walt Disney World thing. The 50th and says, anniversary. And it says 50 on it. And, and then I'm going to show you the characters. Okay. This is like the little guy. What is this? Oh, that's um, that's BB-8 from Star Wars. Hey, BB-8. BB-8. And like Mr. Toad. Big screen. Right there. Mr. And Toad. And then this guy from Up. The oh one, yeah. The. And then I saw oh, that. Oh, that guy bird. I think that's from Runaway Railway. Yeah. I saw that. Right yep. There. Yep. A mini and mini running railway at the end. And then here's Addy's favorite guy. What? Figment. Figment. 
Figment. I, I was there. 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 Carbell was on the top. That would be really pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might just stop. Okay, hey, let her finish showing. And then this is orange card. And that's Simba. And that, that is, does she have a name or not? Uh, Madame Leota. Yeah, <laughs> Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, right here, yeah, there. over there. Right there. Um, She's the one in the ball. And then... These guys. Oh, are those are from an old ride that's closed now. It was a ride with trolls. Okay. Some trolls. Oh, yeah. Where? At the very bottom, there's three trolls. I'll have to show you that later when it's a little closer. Yep. Not the, not that wasn't orange bird. It was a different bird on that. All right. So Addie's now looking at. Um, since she loved Figment, I got her my old. Uh, yeah, it's several years old now, but it's the old Figment comic book. They came out with all these different book, comic books on things. So she's checking it out, the comic book of Figment. But anyways, kids, thanks for coming on today. Hey, thanks all for bye. coming on the show. Bye. And come over here and say bye real quick. You don't have to do your face for 20 minutes. Say goodbye, kids. Bye. bye. Yeah, Avery needs to come in and say bye. With big beluga, baby beluga. No, it's not beluga. And elderly Mickey. No. Bye. Okay, everyone step back for a second. Okay, hey, thanks everybody for coming on here. And also if you're watching later, uh, Matt and Olivia and Rachel, I'll say thanks for sharing everybody. Hey, if you guys have not seen our updated website, uh, beyondthepixies.com, please check it out. Um, Ellie and I. My daughter and I, and my younger daughter, who's one, and my wife named Carissa, your mom, <laughs> we're all moving to Disney in like 15 days. And we're going to be uh, going to provide some emotional, physical, spiritual support to cast members, people who work at Disney. So if you don't know anything about that, you haven't heard about it, or even if you have, check out our brand new website, uh, Updated. It's got a section for cast members, a section for Disney fanatics um, that we can hopefully reach out and help all sorts of people. What do you think? Are you ready to move down? Just a few more days, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you guys uh, real soon. Bye. Bye.